Hi guys. Well, on its face, a bit of a surprise from the state Senate today. They've had this provision under consideration since the beginning of last year, only now coming up for a vote. This proposal would amend the Constitution of the state of Vermont. Of going down a road that we don't normally do here. It's like a simple addition to the Constitution, one that 10 other states already have. Supporters say it's needed to help the Vermont Supreme Court decide cases in a technological age of cell phone hacking, automatic license plate readers, and so forth. Things that weren't around when the Constitution was written. It would add a provision that says each person has a right to privacy, including the right to keep personal information private, to communicate with others privately, and to make decisions concerning his or her body. I would contend, Mr. President, that our language as it stands from the 18th century is not adequately equipped to deal with the issues we are facing today. We don't go and amend the Constitution willy-nilly. You don't do it by going through a, a committee that has not looked through every bit of the, or, or taken into consideration all the potential problems that could arise potential litigation that could occur. And tempers flared during this afternoon's debate. Judiciary Chairman Dick Sears of Bennington clearly fuming at some of his colleagues who didn't want to send the proposal back to his committee for further review. Benning said it was either now or not for another three years, noting the long process of getting a constitutional amendment passed. In the end, the Senate decided to wait. In a 10 to 19 roll call vote, Republicans and Democrats voting every which way, Proposition 1, establishing a clear right to privacy, was defeated today in Montpelier.